Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. Today I'm doing a kind of a different type of video and it stems from one of the Trophy Nine Nights that I did uh, previously where I said I had um, all these spectacular wines with really spicy food. So it got me thinking I should uh, do a video on this, which is um, wine pairings with hot pot. So what is hot pot and why am I doing a pot video on hot pot? Hot pot is a kind of an Asian concept, and I think for people here in Vancouver, it's pretty familiar to people. But I'm always, um, when I travel, I always, um, I'm reminded that, you know, we can't take things for granted. So we in North America think everyone must know what a hamburger or a pizza is. That's not the case. Likewise, you know, in Canada, we think, of course, everyone knows what a poutine is. No. And I'm often surprised when I say hot pot that a lot of people don't, actually don't know what I'm talking about. So hot pot is really um, something that's very popular in a lot of Asian cultures. Very simple concept. It's a kind of a, um, a large bowl of either uh, boiling water or uh, broth. And you just have all these ingredients that are kind of raw ingredients. And it can be very elaborate or very simple. Um, and you just kind of boil the food in the hot pot. And it's very communal. Um, it's done a lot in this season, in the winter season, because it's cold and it's kind of a nice thing to have. And uh, also celebrates things like the winter solstice and also the lunar, lunar new year. A lot of families do this because it um, signifies um, togetherness, unity, and equality. Because when you're sharing something with a pot, sharing a hot pot with someone it's usually people that you have to like you can't really share a hot pot with people that you don't like uh, you have to trust them obviously and also it, you, everyone's equal you eat the same food and it's very communal and very social now of course you have to be in this environment very careful so i guess you can only do that with immediate family at home but in restaurants uh, here at least in vancouver a lot of the restaurants have adapted to our new environment and they actually have individual hot pots for yourself so you can kind of be safe but at the same point still enjoy the experience communally. So as I say hot pot can be very simple it can be just vegetables or noodles it can have um, you know some fish some basic meats like um, you know uh, kind of beef or it can be very elaborate and it could be lobster crab abalone, geo duck, lamb, mutton. It can be a lots of stuff and I've had that with different people. It can also be very, very spicy. So it can be, the, it depends on the broth. The broth could be just water. It could be chicken broth. It could be all types of broth. But sometimes people really enjoy what they call Northern style spicy or Sichuan um, broth. And that's made with peppercorns and chilies and it is really spicy, like tremendously spicy. Like it'll turn your face red, you'll be sweating, and essentially it will literally numb your tongue. So I was thinking about this and I was having my meal, uh, my hot pot, and I'm, at the end of this video, I'll show an example of what we've served at home at, at hot pot, um, at home in a winter night. And um, I was thinking about what wines you could pair with that. And in particular, dealing with my last one of my former videos where I did a uh, video and I said the food was very spicy. So kind of this is a hodgepodge about hot pot, pairing with spicy food, etc. And I just thought it was a little different a video um, that I should do. Hot pot um, is, is very difficult sometimes to pair because it can be different. It depends on the, the broth, depends on the food you're serving. But one of the safest um, things you can have or pair with Asian cuisine, any type of Asian cuisine, or with a hot pot is going to be champagne. And again, I'm going to use this video to kind of highlight some of my previous videos. So I hope you'll go and view these. So I've done a, a video on champagne, Moet versus Veuve Clicquot. Um, please, and that'll be at the end of this video. Um, so that's very safe usually because champagne it's got great acidity, good fruitiness that pairs really well with the 
uh, subtleness of hot pot because all you're doing is boiling uh, raw food in hot in water or broth there you can spice it up by all the sauces you can add to it and it's pretty elaborate in some restaurants here they have a whole station with like 80 different ingredients for sauces so you can really make a really um, extravagant or very exotic type um, concoction and it's not plain at all um, kind of fun and uh, kind of creative um, another really safe wine with hot pot or in general Asian cuisine is going to be um, Sauvignon Blanc. Again, uh, this is a video I've done on Cloudy Bay, one of my favorite uh, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. Again, acidity, great acidity, good fruit, um, clean and cold, right? So it's got this little, you know, champagne and um, the Sauvignon Blanc is going to be cold, and it's kind of a nice contrast between um, the, um, you know, the hot pot, which is hot, and something that's going to kind of cool you down, just like a, a cold beverage. Um, if you'd like to pair with red wine, some people just don't like champagne, don't like red, uh, white wine. Um, I would go with something uh, very fruity and, um, you know, something like a Spanish Grenache wine. Or um, basically, I would go with um, something like... Um, a Chateauneuf de Pop. And again, one of my favorite wines, which I have reviewed in the past, which I'll put at the end here of this video, is the Bucastel um, Chateauneuf de Pop. I love this wine. Nice and fruity, um, good, bold flavors, um, lots of fruit, um, alcohol content is high. I think that pairs really well when you have a hot pot that's going to be... Um, going to be a little bit uh, with uh, meat dishes, especially when you get into the more uh, gamey type meats, lamb, mutton, um, even beef. That I think that would be a good pairing. Then you go to really spicy food. Um, and spicy, uh, it could be, because you've got peppercorns, you've got things that are numbing you, numbing you, like it's really, really spicy. And uh, I'm not a big, per big on spice, but I know a lot of people like spicy food, like chilies, jalapenos. Um, the spice in um, hot pot and Sichuan style is more like peppercorn. And um, it's quite numbing on the tongue. It's hard to describe it, but if you've had it, you, you know it kind of completely numbs your tongue. But I do have a wine recommendation for this. Because of this, um, it's so spicy, one of the... Uh, ways people go is like Rieslings and, and sweet wines. Another interesting way to go if you're going to do red wines is going to be um, a very bold Australian Shiraz wine with like Penfolds 28, Bin 28, which I've also reviewed. Um, again, you've got a lot of sweetness um, from the fruit, a lot of bo boldness and a lot of uh, alcohol content which will combat the spiciness. But the other thing is, if I'm just going to serve red wines, I'd serve them slightly chilled, um, lower than room temperature, uh, again, to combat the, the, the spicier the food, the spicier the broth, I think the colder I would have this. Of course, not like freezer temperature, but a little bit colder um, uh, than normal, normal red wine temperature, um, maybe just out of your cellar, or um, slightly in the fridge for 10-15 minutes before you serve it. The other interesting um, combination that you might want to try is port. And this is one of the ports that I should probably open soon. Um, it doesn't have to be vintage. Um, maybe a Coente port, port a tawny port would be fine. But I like that because again, high alcohol content, sweet. Um, and so that really combats um, the um, spiciness and especially the num the peppercorn numbness on your tongue this the the, the alcohol content um, the huge sweetness I think will combat that it's kind of the same concept as you know if you're serving a, a reasoning except it's the other way it's the sweetness but it's also the thickness and it's a red wine or red uh, dark colored wine some people like that better and it's, um, again, sweetness 
and um, fruitiness. So hope this has been kind of interesting. I thought I'd like to do this type of video and now I'm gonna just show you a little bit, um, a little short video on you know what is hot pot and what is would be a typical hot pot in my house in my household until next time happy drinking so we had uh fish balls um thousand year egg tofu beef crab gyo duck fish taro root this is the hot pot bowl itself then we had some uh, vegetables and noodles pretty traditional this was used to about celebrate the winter solstice um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy drinking!